Hey Scorpio, welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree and as you can see, I've got a little bit of a different setup here. Now, I've gotten a lot of feedback from some of you who have said that you prefer when I do these face to camera videos uh, for the reading. So I'm going to try that for the month of August for your reading. All right, Scorpio, so you can let me know your thoughts, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything in between, <laughs> because I want to create the content that you guys want to see. As you may have noticed, the channel is growing. We are very close to 100,000 subscribers, and I am very excited about that. And so I am even more committed to really making the best possible content that I can make for you, uh, because I appreciate all of your support over the years, and I just can't thank you enough. So uh, if I can do something to make the experience better uh, with the content here on my channel, I am more than willing to do that. So like I said, my name is Desiree. I am your favorite money tarot reader on YouTube, and I am going to be doing a general reading. It will include money, uh, finance, wealth, all of those things. But uh, again, from the feedback I've gotten from some of you, you have asked if I could kind of do some general readings. So that way you can get some insights uh, as, it as it relates to other things going on in your life besides just money. Okay, so we are going to do money but I am going to include other things that come through during the reading as well, okay? So for the readings this month, I will be using my Morgan Greer tarot deck. I will clarify with my Radiant Rider Weight tarot. And then Scorpio, I will close out your reading with a intuitive life coaching oracle card. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, as I am shuffling the cards and laying them out, I will angle the camera down so you can see the cards because I know a lot of you like to see the cards um, you know, as I'm going through the reading. And so hopefully that will work and hopefully it will be something that um you know <laughs> will 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 look decent you know as we as we do this because i'm still learning uh how to navigate this so i apologize in advance if something is messed up all right so let's go ahead and get right into your reading scorpio okay all right now, I've been doing these readings for some of the other signs with this setup, and it has gone pretty well, so I'm kind of liking this. But again, let me know your thoughts. All right, Scorpio, what do we need to know for the sign of Scorpio for August 2024? What do we need to know for the sign of Scorpio? All right, Scorpio, looks like you've got resolution uh, in that first week of August. All right. The other thing I'm picking up, Scorpio, is that um, a lot of information is coming at you during the month of August. Okay, so we got resolution to something that was a problem uh, by the Seven of Swords here. Now, the Seven of Swords in the reverse talks about something that was wrong gets corrected. Something that was done against you gets rectified, okay? So that's why I'm saying you got resolution coming uh, the first week in August. The other thing I see here is like some of you are going to be rearranging a trip in some way because I've got the six of swords here. So either you're making plans and then you realize you have to change those plans or there is a trip coming, but the trip doesn't go to what, you know, how you thought it was going to be. You thought, oh, I'm going to do this, this and that, but you end up changing things up. All right. So that's really nothing, um, you know, to worry about. It's just kind of a heads up that if you are going on a trip or planning a trip, something's going to change um, that you're probably not expecting. All right, next we got the Queen of Cups. She is the card of emotional sensitivity. I feel like you're going to be feeling very emotionally sensitive um, for the month of, well, the first week in August. The other thing about the Queen of Cups is that um, sometimes when I see her, her emotions are very guarded. In other words, she doesn't necessarily share or express her emotions with everybody. And I feel like that's kind of the energy for you, Scorpio. In other words, you feel like you need to guard or maybe hide your emotions in some way. All right. Next up, we got the page of wands. The page of wands is good news coming through as it relates to work, as it relates to your career. The other thing about the page of wands is that it means that uh, a huge announcement is being made as it relates to your work and your, your business or your career. 
Next up, we got the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles, one of my favorite cards, means this is the card that says it's time to spend money on yourself. In other words, investing in yourself is going to bring you the most satisfying return. All right, so if there's something you need to buy to make your life better or to make you better in some way, first week of August is the time for you to spend the money on that thing, whatever it is. Could be new clothes, new computer, um, hiring a personal trainer, a coach, a mentor, whatever the case may be, okay? Finally, we got the strength card. Now the strength card, this card is in the reverse. Now the thing I'm getting with the strength card is that some of you need to pay attention to your health. And it's funny because several of the signs have been getting that card this month. And I feel like because we're kind of moving into fall, we're winding down summer, you know, kind of summer, everybody is kind of free for all. And then we realize we need to get back on track <laughs> in the fall when kids go back to school and all that stuff and we get back into that routine. So I feel like some of you need to really uh, prioritize your health with this card. All right, Scorpio, some of you need more sleep. Some of you need to go to the dentist. Some of you need to um, eat better, you know, whatever, whatever the case may be for you. All right, what else do we need to know for the sign of Scorpio? As it relates to life, money, relationships, all the things for the month of August. Whoa. 2024. All right. So the full card in the reverse means now is not the time to do something totally different than what you are already currently doing. Why? Because you're not prepared. So if you're looking about, if you're thinking about uh, changing careers or maybe making a big move or something like that, the fool card in the reverse is telling me to tell you, Scorpio, and I know it's, <laughs> it's not reverse for you, but it's reverse for me as the reader. All right. So this card is telling me to tell you, Scorpio, <clears throat> that you're not fully prepared for a big change in your life. So don't, don't rush something. Don't just start going in one direction and not knowing how that's going to play out. Okay. Next, we got the lover's card. The lover's card is also in reverse. Again, this means that you have not really made all the uh, choices you need to make as it relates to whatever it is this next season is in your life. In other words, there's still some things you need to consider, still some things you need to think about. All right, Scorpio, there's still some things that are not um, fully complete or fully fixed or fully um, laid out or planned out. I feel like there's still a lot of decisions and planning and preparation that needs to happen. All right, next up, we do have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is a card about you because it's in the reverse. This is a card about you working independently. So some of these decisions you're going to have to make by yourself because you're the one that knows what you want. And then once you get clear about what it is that you want, then you kind of share those decisions and or plans with other people. But remember, it's all about you focusing on what is going to, to work for you, what you need, what you want you know, especially with the current circumstances that you're currently dealing with. Okay. Uh, we also have the three of swords. That's a great card to see in the reverse because that's a card that talks about um, emotional like up leveling. In other words, you're still not holding on to any grudge or animosity. Uh, you've forgiven, you've moved past, you've processed certain feelings, you've released them. That's a really good card. And that's in the second week of August, which means that you're not allowing emotions to hinder you in any way. All right, Scorpio. Next up, we've got the six of pentacles in the reverse. That means be very careful about oversharing, over giving, uh, over delivering in some way, because it's going to put you in a position to take it, you know, be taken advantage of, or somebody's going to expect you to give, give, give all the time. There's nothing wrong with being generous, but sometimes we have to be careful that we're not setting ourselves up to be manipulated, used, or like I said, taken advantage of. Okay. And finally, we've got the chariot card. The chariot card in the reverse means that you've got a lot of things going on and you may need to give yourself time to um, maybe focus on one thing. Because that chariot card in the reverse means there's a lack of focus and a lack of direction. Now, everybody has this at some point in time in their life. But depending on what it is you're trying to do and what you're trying to bring forth in your life, Scorpio, you may need to let go of a bunch of stuff so you can focus on the one thing. 
All right. At least temporarily, at least until you get some momentum and some progress on the one thing. OK, so let's continue on. Wow. You've got that repeater card, Scorpio. OK. The same card that you started your reading off with. Um, like I said, that's a card of resolution. Right, that goes there. And we've got that there. All right. So again, something gets corrected here. That's fantastic. <laughs> All right. Something's getting corrected. Something's getting fixed. Something's getting, uh, you know, reversed, if that's the case. All right. Next up, we do have the Eight of Swords. This is the card of self-limiting beliefs. So what are you thinking about as it relates to what's possible for you, Scorpio? The other thing about this card, too, is sometimes we hesitate because we feel like we're limited, even though technically we're not. All right. So make sure you're not falling into that habit or, you know, into that um, mindset of thinking that you can't do something, Scorpio, because you totally can. Scorpios are some of the most passionate, driven people I've met, you know, in all areas. So once a Scorpio is committed to making a decision or having something, there's really nothing that can stop them. Okay. So I just wanted to reaffirm that for you, Scorpio. Next, we do have the Empress card, one of the cards of the Divine Feminine. The Empress card is all about creativity cycles. Um, the thing about the Empress card is sometimes I'm getting with this card is that you have to pay attention to the timing of something. In other words, you can't speed anything up, but you can't slow it down either. Okay, so understand that certain things are going to take the time they take, and we just got to have to kind of go with that. Now, you got the lover's card again. Remember, we saw the lover's card here. We've got the lover's card again here. This time, this card is in the upright position. The lover's card, again, uh, this is a card that talks about being at a crossroads and having two or more decisions that you need to make. And all of them are good. All of them are exciting. All of them are what you want. <laughs> this is a great place to be, Scorpio, because not only do you have more than one option, but all the options that you have are really, really good. All right. So if you have to make a decision on something, Scorpio, understand that um, you really can't go wrong here. Now, the other aspect of the lover's card is that this is a card of the divine feminine. This is a card of... Um, uh, not divine feminine. I'm sorry, divine union. Uh, this is a card of sometimes new relationships, new love relationships, new connections, new passionate, um, loving uh, partnerships, you know, so that could very be what's, you know, as it relates for some of you Scorpios as well. All right. So that happens in the second Oh, no. Yeah. Second half of August. Next up, we got the six of wands. Scorpios are always the center of attention. This card is just confirming that Scorpio. You just have this magnetic personality and it looks like that's going to work to your advantage in the second half of the month. People are definitely going to be attracted to you. They're going to be drawn to you. They're going to be um, really just magnetized by you. All right. And again, this is going to be something that benefits you in some way, either financially or maybe in some other way. Right. Maybe maybe you get something uh, free. Maybe um, I don't know, <laughs> but there's definitely going to be a benefit. Your magnetism is creating benefits for you in the second half of the month. Finally, we do have the nine of swords. The nine of swords in the reverse means that, you know, you're no longer feeling worried or anxious. As a matter of fact, you are excited about what's coming next in your life, Scorpio. And you're not allowing any type of fear or doubt to get in the way of that. All right. So this is a great card to see in the reverse because it means that you're taking control of your feelings and your thoughts. And that is the thing that helps you move forward in a much more um, solid, progressive. And I even want to say dramatic way. All right. All right. So now we got some more cards that came out for you, Scorpio. Let's see what else shows up. So we've got the five of pentacles. Now, the Five of Pentacles is a money mindset card, okay? That means um, sometimes the things that we want are really just a thought shift away. And that's what I'm feeling with this card here with you, Scorpio. In other words, there's something you want. Could be money, could be anything, relationship, health, anything, career. 
And it's really just a matter of changing how you think about the thing in order to unlock whatever it is. All right, so really examine your beliefs about the things that you feel are the most challenging in your life right now because you just have to think differently. Okay, next up, we've got the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles means that you're going to have a wandering eye, not as it relates to dating and relationships, although some of you may. <laughs> but the wandering eye is more about you're dissatisfied somewhere, so you're starting to entertain or consider other options. This could be work, job, career. This could be where you're living. Like for some of you, this will be your home. It's like, yeah, you like this house. You like this neighborhood. But now you're starting to consider or think about what else is out there. You know, is there someplace better or someplace I'd be a little bit more, you know, happier or, or someplace I'd enjoy living more? All right. So there's nothing wrong with having a wandering eye because sometimes that is the thing that takes us to the next level or brings us exactly what we want. Okay. Next, we got the two of pentacles. The two of pentacles in the reverse means you got to pay attention to your budget and your balancing, uh, balancing of your budget, I should say. Why? Because the two of pentacles means that something's out of whack. Something's not balanced. Something's not is is not um, something's not lining up as it relates to the numbers and your money. All right. So go back, triple check your bank statements, your receipts, your invoices, statements, all those things, and make sure that everything is, is what it's supposed to be because something isn't. Maybe you were overcharged. Maybe you were undercharged. Maybe uh, somebody added something in twice. Maybe something deducted something twice, whatever the case may be. Okay. Oh, we got the star card. Star card again. I'm not surprised, Scorpio, you got two of the cards in your reading that talk about being magnetic, attracting a lot of attention, drawing a lot of people in, literally you being the star of the show. This is also the card of health and vitality. Remember, we had the card, I think, earlier. Didn't we have the card? Oh, oh yes, yes. We did have the uh, strength card here in the reverse. And this is the card I said, pay attention to your health. All right. So for some of you, you, you do exactly that. And then by the end of the month, you're in good shape. You're in good shape physically. You're in good shape uh, as it relates to your health, your physical wellness, your physical well-being. All right. But it doesn't always mean that. So the two aspects are physical health and vitality and also you being magnetic and drawing in a lot of attention, which I feel probably is more, <laughs> more so accurate for you Scorpios. Next, we got the five of cups. Then we have the ten of pentacles. The five of cups is a card that it's, it's a card about you second guessing yourself. And in order for you to get the clarity you need, you're going to have to uh, spend some time alone. You're going to have to work independently. You're going to have to really do some soul searching and figure out what exactly is it that I want and how am I going to bring that about in my life? All right. So if you have any doubts or hesitation, take some time to withdraw from the situation or maybe from, you know, certain people, certain relationships. So you have time to really think by yourself, for yourself, without any distractions or any interruptions. All right. So Scorpio, like I said, um, this month is really about you drawing in the things that you want. That's really the overall theme here because you're so magnetic in this month of August. Like, like people just can't resist you. So I think what you want to do is um, use that to your advantage. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that, right? There's nothing wrong with leveraging the advantages that you have as a person in your life. All right, Scorpio, let's go ahead and close out your reading. Ooh, look at this. This is juicy. All right, we got card number 76. This is the card of soulmate. This relationship is a match made in heaven. This relationship is a match made in heaven. Look, this relationship is a match made in heaven. There's going to be a brand new juicy relationship showing up for you, or maybe your current relationship is being escalated to a whole new level and it's pretty intense. Mm hmm. All right, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, observations, please drop them in the comments below. I want to thank you so much for spending this time with me. And as you know, we're going to do this all again next month. So I'll check in with you again really soon.